Welcome. Good morning, President Warner and board, and welcome, Dr. Simmons. Glad to see your new face on the board. I will keep it short and sweet as usual. <laughs> what? You don't believe me? Okay, <laughs> come on. I just want to touch on, I'm glad to see, President Warner, that you went down to the Women's March, and I'm glad to see you, Travis, as well, was on buses doing snow and ice because the frontline people really did a good job, and I appreciate more than just on this video, Neil, dig into the pocketbook. And put something out there for the operators, the service workers, the mechanics, everybody who actually did something on the front line. Let them know you really appreciate them. A small gesture, thank you, here's a cup of coffee, here's some donuts, whatever. Just let them know you appreciate them. That's all that I'm asking at this particular moment. I said moment. <laughs> also, snow and ice emergency, I would love, it's in the contract, Neil, you know it is, Shelly can back you up. When you have a snow and ice emergency or something, call me. Talk to me. Let's communicate back and forth. That's what it's in there for. Don't just uh, declare emergency and then you got operators that can't make it work. They're getting oversleep, so they're getting threatened. Uh, they don't come in. Uh, set up some kind of goals. You can remember, Neil, when we used to actually go out and pick up our operators when they can't make it up. Our supervisors that was out there, if we got a warm body, Look at the garages. I actually made a visit to the Center Street garage. Saw an operator fall right out here at the front line. Embarrassed. Got up. I said, you okay? Helped him into the garage and everything. Went out and drove for 14 hours. That's a long day out there in that snow and ice. So show your appreciation to you people. That's all I'm asking. Contact me. You ain't afraid of me. Randy might be, but you're not. <laughs> So let's, you know, let's communicate together, people. That's what I'm, all, I'm here for. Um, the service workers are having a hard time out there in their, in their jobs right now. Doug and I have been corresponding back and forth with some emails. That's one good thing I can say about Doug. I fly off an email to him. He re responds right back to me. We're in good communication. So I want to keep that open, and I'm willing to work with the man because he is top-notch. Apparently, you hired him and not my buddy back there. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I got love for you, Randy. <laughs> Why is he hiding that? There he is. So anyway, that's all I got to say. So let's keep something up. And Doug and I are getting together with the service workers and try to get some plans and get something worked out because it's some bad stuff going on on those trains with diapers and needles. That's very unsafe being thrown into the trash. And we got the equipment. I know they got shop containers down at all the garages because I used to carry them in my supervisor cars. So I know they're there. Let's get them out there. Let's work with our people. All right. Thank you, okay. President Block.